I'm just driving back from taking Darren to work, and he got me a coffee, and he picked up a Dr. Pepper for my mom. I don't know why I'm telling you guys, it's not very, like, interesting. So I'm just driving. I'm thinking about doing the YouTube Orbit YTO, but I don't know. Um... I don't, there's not really like a lot of interesting stuff that happens. Like, I have a puppy and that's kind of interesting. But I don't have like a cool job that you guys would be interested about. Like, I'm a home, I'm a homebody. I'm a housewife. That's not very interesting. I mean, I guess it can be depending upon what type of housewife you are, but I don't have kids, so. I'm a mom to a dog, not to children. I want kids, we want kids, but we don't have any yet. We're working on it, don't worry. What's funny is that, like, the day that we got married, my husband called a bunch of his friends. Like, we invited them, but they live out of state. And he called a bunch of his friends to tell them, you know, that we got married. Like, hey, I'm official, I'm married. And they were all like, is April pregnant? Isn't that funny? Like, the first thing that they thought of was April pregnant. By the way, no. I wasn't. And we don't have kids. I've never been pregnant. That I'm aware of. I think I would know. It's like when people will ask you sometimes, do you have kids? I always say, not that I'm aware of. Oh, wait, there's something going on. I don't know. There's like a big wow. That did not look good. That did not look good at all. I don't know what was going on back there, but obviously that was a giant hose in the road that went to a fire truck and it looks like maybe there was a fire in that neighborhood or something. I don't know. It's not good. That would be an awesome way to start your Sunday, right? Like, hello, there's a freaking fire um, at your house or something. That would suck. I've never had a fire at my own house. Like, you know, like, we've never had a fire, any type of fire at our house, thankfully. At any of our houses or apartments or anything like that. But, you know, we, my mom's worked with uh, people, like a lady. She worked with a lady one time whose house had burned down. And I remember, like, donating, like, going through old clothes and, you know, toys and whatever, you know. Going through stuff and purchasing some stuff to, like, donate to the lady. Which is, well, not just because it was her, but she had kids. And, you know, it's just sad. Those kids lost all their toys, everything, you know, which toys really aren't that important. But to a kid, that's, like, their most precious prized belongings, you know. And sometimes all it takes is, like, a teddy bear just to make you happy. So, anyway, I remember going through our stuff to to donate to this family, and what was unfortunate about it is the, the way that the fire got started at this lady's house was they, somebody had a candle burning, they all left the house, and whoever had the candle burning didn't blow the candle out, they left it burning, and then you know, I guess somehow it fell over or it caught fire or something and then their whole house went, went up in flames. Thankfully, no one was home at the time. I mean, so that's a good thing of it, you know. But it was just sad that this lady and her, like, kids, I just, you know, it just, things like that just, like, pull at your heartstrings, you know, because I've been in situations in my life, not exactly the same, but, like, I've been in situations in my life where, you know, people have helped me out and done nice things for me and it means a lot when people do something for you that they don't have to do especially when it's a complete stranger you know yeah so this is just kind of a random update um there's really not a lot going on there's nothing happening Taylor got fixed on Friday today's Sunday the first night was kind of rough like I don't think he was in a lot of pain or anything but it's just like I slept really restless I slept on the floor 
to try to prevent him from jumping in and out of the bed because he's not supposed to jump or run or any of that. But to keep him from jumping in and out of the bed is like impossible. I, and he's a puppy. I don't know how I'm supposed to prevent him from jumping like 100%. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to do that. Like, I don't want him to get hurt, obviously. I want his little, you know, surgery site to heal up good and not have any trauma or, you know, infection or anything like that. Like, I just want him to heal up good and fast, but, and I'm not, like, completely trying to ignore what the doctor says, you know, by any means. It's just, it's like the paperwork says, like, for 14 days, there's supposed to be no running, jumping, exercise, blah, 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 and it's like, I get that he needs to, like, be chill, so in other words, like, I can't take him out and jog with him, which is, like, I like to do, and, you know, okay, so we won't be doing that, you know, but, like, jumping at all, like, so he can't jump onto the bed that's a foot and a half tall, like, we got one of those futons, it's like a new futon, so it's not, like, the very low type, it's, like, the type that's, like, kind of maybe the height of, like, a couch, like, a lower couch, you know? So it is kind of set up a little bit, but not like too tall. It's not like jumping onto like a normal tall bed because we just don't we don't sleep on a we don't own one. Yeah. Anyway, I'm about home, so I guess I should end this here. But what do you guys think about the whole jumping thing with the neutering? I mean, for right now, like it doesn't seem to be hurting him. And as long as, like, his sutures stay good and, like, he doesn't screw any of that up or, like, bust his stitches or whatever, I'm kind of just going to let him do what he feels comfortable doing, I guess. Like, if he feels comfortable jumping up and down, it's not causing him any pain or discomfort, then I guess it's okay for him to jump up and down. Otherwise, I'm just trying to follow the directions 100% and do what I'm supposed to do. That's the only thing that's kind of iffy. And I am trying to... He can still lick himself himself. Um, we have that collar, they call it the e-collar, we have that on him, so let's keep it on him for 10 days, and I don't know if they know, but he's a weenie dog, he's really long and wiry, and he can still lick himself, so that's our other problem that we're having, like, I'm, I have to keep an eye on him at all times, because, so he doesn't groom himself, and start licking the surgery site, and dissolve his stitches, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just, like, a worried mother. I've been bitching at Darren all weekend, like, oh, oh, don't do this, oh, don't do that, oh, if you're going to pick him up, pick him up this way, oh, oh, don't look at him wrong, don't breathe on him wrong. I've just been bitching at Darren all weekend, my poor husband. But he's been putting up with it like a champ, and I've been telling him, honey, you've been so awesome, you've been putting up with it so good. I'm just, like, a worried mom. Like, if your kid had surgery, you'd be worried and anxious about them, too, you know? Anyway. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. My weekend is going good. It's been like a little bit of crazy with the dog, but then just a, lo a lot of chilling with the husband, which is very, very nice. I feel like we've just been going and going and going a lot lately, so it's kind of nice to have a weekend with him where, like, he was sick like a lot last week, like, bleh, really crappy. So this weekend, I was just like, well, you've been sick, the puppy just got sick, so... Once we pick the puppy back up, I think it should be like a movie and chilling kind of weekend, you know, and Darren was just like, yeah, I totally agree, so it was nice to have my puppy and my husband home, but I'll tell you what, on Friday, when we dropped him off and we came home, we were cleaning like crazy people, cleaning the room, clean the bathroom, clean up the spare bedroom. I think because we were really, like, anxious. And then we did all the cleaning and finished all the cleaning, and I was sitting there, and the TV was on, but I was just sitting at my desk, like, staring at the floor, and I was like, honey, this reminds me too much of sitting and waiting in a waiting room. Like, can we go do stuff? We were at home, but I was like, can we go out and go do stuff? Like, this is just driving me crazy to sit here and wait. So yeah, we ended up going to the storage unit and doing some stuff. I showed you guys that chair that I pulled out and all that. So everything's good and hopefully Sailor just heals up fast. I just want him to heal up fast and just get this stuff over with. I just want it to be over for my puppy and I want him to like feel better and not not feel crappy anymore and not be sore and I just want him to be happy. I know. I just want him to heal up. So I can not 
worry and stress, and so he feels better. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go now because I'm almost done. Bye.